This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar, taking a look at tips, tricks, and techniques inside Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to use both draw mask and color masking to do color correction on a clip. But there are other masks that we can use that allow us to select a portion of an image. And probably the most powerful of these is the draw mask. Let me show you how this works. Here I've got a dancer. Now let's say hypothetically that I want to decrease the saturation and increase the texture of the columns on the right. Now notice they're yellow. She's got gold in her costume. She's got gold over here. There's a lot of gold, so I've got to have a different kind of mask to be able to affect just the pillars on the right. And the shape mask won't work, and the color mask in and of itself is not sufficient. Let me show you. Select this, apply the mask, go to a color mask. I'm going to just select across here and select as much of those colors as I can. Uh, if I don't like it, click the downward pointing arrow, say reset parameter, try it again. All right, I want to lose as much of her face as possible. View the mask, adjust the softness to make her disappear. I want to have the, the pillars on the right to be as solid white as possible and her to be as invisible black as possible. Okay, so now when I view the mask, if I were to make a change, I would affect everything in a frame. I only want to affect the pillars on the right. So hold the Option key down and Option drag up. Make a copy of this. In the Effects browser, go to the Masking category and apply Draw Mask. I want to set a control point here and go right up to the top. and then make this smaller. So now the top clip will turn off the... Um, the top clip is only the section on the right. If I turn off the bottom clip, you can see the top clip is only the section on the right. So now with that clip selected, let's go to the color board. Let's pull our saturation down. Let's take our exposure and make the exposure darker to pick up that texture. And now when I turn the bottom on, notice that these pillars on the top are coming from the top clip. Everything else is coming from the bottom clip. So that now as we play this, we see, let me make it bigger so you can see, we see that I've been able to change the pillars without affecting her, because she's not included, her skin is a different color, and the mask prevents it from affecting the gold on the left, so I can change the background with her in front of it without having to do constant keyframes without changing the section on the left. This ability to select a portion of the frame using a combination of color keys and draw masks gives us a lot more control over what's happening in the background of our clip. Is that not cool? Look at that. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at tips, tricks, and techniques inside Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 206. By the way, if you need to stretch your training dollars, a membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for one low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,400 movies, hundreds of hours, all in depth and all up to date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.